Mountains, you see correct. It's March 21st, 1993, and here we are at Hinkley, home of the buzzards for the annual buzzard day. And as usual, here come some turkeys to check out these buzzards. It's the boy with his shades. He says, yeah, I need my shades. It's so sunny and bright. Okay, let's go, let's go eat. I think we beat the crowd this year. I hope we did. Big doings today. The old Buzzard Day book sale at the local Hinkley Library. This is nothing but adult entertainment out here today, fans. Scoo says, let me get to those pancakes and... Hey, a little bit of snow on the ground here on Hinkley, but like a criminal. Stepped out of uh, Nerds or Us. The official Buzzard Day cook. Hey David, how do you like those pancakes, boy? And it takes a little medicine too. Third plate. It is not. Well, it will be your third. She said. New material. I see you're doing a little recycling, another pancake and sausage breakfast at Hinkley Buzzard. Does that make it official? Most definitely. Taping that flag. Sausage. So call this Buzzard Day, Gary? What? Do you want to call this Buzzard Day? I think it looks like a That's right, they brought that in from the. What is it? What is it? Guys, what's the look? What do they call that uh, cafe? The Flat Rocks, Flat Road Cafe, or whatever it is? Roadkill Cafe. Roadkill Cafe. David. Are you ready to hit the trails and see some buzzards? Huh? I'm waiting. Are you done eating? Well, you did a pretty good job. Hey, Boots. This is the first time. This is the first time that you've ever had breakfast accompanied by music to Mark Five, right? That's what I thought. This, this music just like makes me want to say. Well, see that way you can eat. That way, hey, that way you can eat more. You fill up, listening to the music, empty and go again. It's Carol handcuffed here at the old craft show. Huh? Yes, she's handcuffed. I could tell she just didn't have any idea what she was doing. Where are the kids? Renee's over. David, he wants to buy everything under the sun, you know. Look at him. Why does he take his sunglasses off? He thinks he's one of the Blues Brothers. Who? Yeah, Show me that shirt you got. Just when I take my coat off, everything is filled with us. And did you see it? Yeah, that's Feline and Thumper, isn't it? <laughs> I got started in this one. Huh? I don't know. What are they? Car I can't Ariel. see. Ariel, Cogsworth, Genie, and, and Beast. What are they made out of? Chocolate. Those are pretty neat, Boots. I see Carol's trying to buy herself a new perch. Well, I'm not permit myself to buy anything. I see. I have enough stuff to move to Florida. You're trying to buy a new perch? You can have a big, uh, big yard sale. Oh, we're going to. I'm sure. Because as you know, they don't have basements in Florida. I know, I know. Hey, Squeaks. Hey, David, what'd you buy? I bought a chocolate peanut butter, peanut butter egg. Is that right? Don't forget to save me some. Watch out. Aunt Sandy's coming. You guys. Oh, I want the eye. Somebody says chocolate, and they're scooed like a magnet drawn to it. What are you going to buy me, Boots? Huh? In your dreams. You didn't buy me. Look Come on, Renee, spring with the coin and buy me a little something. I need a treat. Now what are those kids looking at? Look at Squeak's mouth going. David, what are you eating here, little boy? 
Huh? Chocolate covered peanuts? Pretzels, I mean. Harry, check this out. This my bicycle fork. You know what that reminds me of, Carol? What? That uh, sculptor up at Niagara Falls yes. done with all the farm yes. tools. There's a garden up there at Niagara Falls. They have all sorts of garden tools and clouds. That they've used to make a, uh, a sculpture. Now, Brent. Look at Renee, Carol. She can't even handle that, that game. That's something to do. She can handle That three-year-old that was just here did that. That's right. David does that in his sleep. Yeah, you're right. I know. David, we're not buying any more games, honey, because we have... Hey, Squeaks. What? We can have fun with this. Hey, Squeaks. Squeaker. How do you like this uh, craft show, huh? He says, I'm not even sure where I am, Dad. How'd you do? <laughs> Look at those jaws go a mile a minute. He, he's eating those chocolate-covered pretzels. I'm trying to spell innovation. I am. Oh, I broke down the box. PDL. What'd you get? Chocolate-covered raisins. Chocolate-covered raisins. I'll have some of those. I don't think so. I'll bail you out a little bit. Okay, move on to the next craft show. How are you? This is a young lady's first over here. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. What'd you get, David? Hey, hey, all right. You made out pretty good. Scoo, what are you going to do? Spend all of your paycheck here? Huh? Now what are you going to buy? I didn't say I was going to buy it. Isn't this pretty, though? When you start opening things up, I know the handwriting is on the wall. She wants to count. <laughs> right, Boots Butt? Did you see the horse in the Huh? Dad, this is a surprise. Please. Bad. You broke up one of her sand things. Yeah, I know. And now you guys are replacing it. Yep. Well, that's well, actually, great. Actually, I'm replacing it. They're all a little bit different. You can watch them, okay? That's all you're supposed to do with them. Is turn them over and watch them. Like hey, Renee. Yeah. She doesn't know why she left. Let's watch this. Is that about done, Renee? Hey, Renee. Let me get a shot of the finished product. Move your arms, son. Oh, it's not done yet? That's for Scoo? Finally, the finished product. David? David. Why did you buy that for Scoo? You're kidding me. David will probably be able to look all over then. Yeah, keep settling down. Wait, wait, wait. Look it over. I think you might need to go. Look, look at it. Do you want to see it? Here comes Squeak's butt. What's he got? Yeah, he sure did. He made it. He and Renee made it. Scoo, he and Renee made it. Yeah, but he bought it. I bought it. He bought it, but they both made it. That's the right thing to do because you broke hers. I saw that. I said, David, wait till you hear what I love that. 
buzzards in Hawaii, huh? I didn't know they had buzzards in Hawaii. You feel happy, little guy? Yeah. Well, good. I'm glad to hear that. Well, our friend the buzzard. Our friend the buzzard flying. Yeah, well, our friend the I still say the sausage still has the feathers in it. Our friend the buzzard seeing roadkill. I think our friend the buzzard was roadkill and they now made sausage it? out of it. Here comes Porco Delardo. She thought she was at the mall. Look at her. She's got more good. Well, you sorry scum. It's a good thing they import their shirts from Omar's. Watch out. I got that one Up ahead, you'll notice the fans are still pouring in for this breakfast. They're coming from all over the state. Do that again, David. What'd you say? Look at me, I'm a rooster. Yeah, I'm a turkey. And Renee said, look at me, I'm a turkey. Look at me, I'm a... And then Scoo says, look at me, I'm a definition. What do you mean a definition? You look up ugly in the dictionary and there's her picture. <laughs> and now here we are at the old buzzard's roost. When we, when, we, when we leave, I'll pull out and you guys can get in right on the road. Okay? Here we are at the old buzzard's roost. We're going to see if we can find a perch for Renee to sit, sit on. I have my hands full. Uh, yeah, she flaps. You don't need to change coats full. Put it on. There it is, Scoo, what you've been waiting 364 days for, the old buzzard's roost. Let's go see if we can find some turkey birds. Well, there's a chump right there. Squat on your perch. Goo is pissed. She is definitely not an outdoor person. Mud on her shoes. That's right. You I sorry. Wash these today. You said you wash them in that snow. You ain't getting that mud in my van. I already did wash them in the snow. Well, let's move on down the way. Boots butt says I can handle this snow. Sandy's prepared. I'm not stupid. I'm gonna have to come out in the cold without a hat. She, that, that's, not, that's a combination you don't usually find together, preparedness and ugly. That boy said, I agree with you. Squeaks could walk up the dry road, but he opts for the snow. All right, get out of there before your shoes get all wet. Carol, what's the buzzard scoreboard say? One. They've seen one today, and that was at 9:21. That was only about 10 minutes ago or so. Jerry, it's almost 10. Oh, is it? It's, yeah, it's almost 10. Well, I've seen a buzzard. There's a buzzard. How's that fire feel, Carol? Nice. You're not wasting any time, are you? I'm hunting for buzzards. You see any? No. Yeah, behind the camera. Yeah, that's a vulture. <laughs> hey, I don't see anything out there either. We only have one sighting today. Yeah, because I know. Renee's still eating. Well, who knows? The buzz buzzards be out, may be out mating. I don't know. Renee, it's There's 10 o'clock. We just got done eating uh, sausage and pancakes. Now, how can you be uh, slugging down a dog? Nice. We, you ate an, you ate breakfast an hour ago. Uh, they're all for, did you put ketchup on there? Yeah. Oh, man, you talk about slime time. Ooh. How can you eat the rest of that hot dog? It just got a, a breath skewing. What? That, uh, that's one of the worst kind. Well, Exceeded only by a PBB and... Birds don't want to come out either. Right in the mud. Let's see who's got boots on. Think we'll find any buzzards today? Where'd your daddy go? See that, David? You now Squeaks has finally joined us. He's out there checking for buzzards. Hey, look at me. You got your shades to to uh, shade your eyes from the glare, right? The glare of what? The glare that beautiful of your sunshine that we're getting. Yeah. Welcome to Ohio, fans. Welcome to Ohio, fans. 
watch. It'll clear up an hour. Look, after Scoo's eat. getting impatient. She wants to see a buzzard. Oh, Scoo's getting tired. Hey, you guys, look. Bear tracks in the snow. There goes Renee tracks, just so long as we don't have to see any Scoo tracks. And here we are hiking down to the old lake to see what's going on. Well, anyway, Renee's hiking down to the old lake. Squeaks, how come we didn't see any buzzards? Because it's buzzard boo boo. Because Scoo's breath. Behind the camera. Scoo's breath scared them all away. Except for the one behind the camera. There she goes, PDL. This is the most walking she's done in a month. David says, I'm cold. Mom goes back to the van to get him another coat. That'll keep little squeakers warm as toast. As here we are at old uh, Whip's Ledges. Hey, or the Metro Park or whatever hey, it's David. called. I hear a little girl. I smell a little girl. Now here they come walking down the hill. Let's see how pork chop does. <laughs> Sorry about that shaking on the camera fans, but that was funny. <laughs> She's gonna have herself some trouble. Oh pork chop. Will she make it down the hill without falling flat on her butt? We do not know. She's getting into the snowy area. Will she be able to handle it? David says, this is nothing to me. Oh, that little bump was pushing me. Oh, look at her. Look at her. I knew she'd be in trouble. I knew she'd be in trouble fast. So oh, pork chop. Put you back out of my road. Look at her old PDL Porco Delaro saying, I cannot make it down this hill. Fans, there is almost no snow there. She's walking on dry pavement. She's walking on eggshells. Get out of here. Look at that outfit that Squeaks has on. Okay. He thinks he's looking cool. Watch the horse dropping. David, give me a cool walk. Yeah, there are. Where's horse dropping? Now, come on, get back. David, what are we doing on this bridge here, huh? Oh, uh, well, I'm going to get ready to take this here. You going to whiz bang off this bridge? What do you guys want to do now? Okay, we'll go back up and we'll follow that trail that's snow covered. No, we'll go home. I can't wait to see Pork Chop go back up that snow covered trail. You gonna get back up that trail, Scoo? This to you, Simpson. I got something for you. I'm gonna hurl. Come on, kids! Let's roll! There's something. I think there's gonna be something going on around here, fans. Where is it? David, what are you doing? So he's turning that that snow yellow. Nah, he didn't. He's okay. Good job, son. Here, come over here. Hold that bottom up. Son, what did you do to mom's coat? Did you did you drop some peewee water on it? Didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's walk that. No, that's okay. She can take it to the cleaners. Peewee water will come out. Man, here we are walking down. So don't, David. Don't. Don't. Hey, you guys, wait for me. Okay, snow-covered trails. What's going on up there? What are you guys doing, huh? Blow that nose. You better give her a towel. A Kleenex won't do. Scoo says I'm not too steady on this snow. She's in deep doo doo, fans. Deep doo doo. She's walking like she's walking across a tightrope. Well, I am walking across a tightrope. 
Off to the right somewhere through these trees are, uh, is a lake. We're going to see if we can get to it. Right, son? Yeah. He says, you know it, Big G. David, those holes that you see probably are from ski poles because they probably cross-country ski on these trails. These would be beauty. These would be beauty. It's falling around a lot. Yeah, well, it's too cold to fall around a lot out here. No, I think they probably ski because this would be beautiful. Yeah. In a little bit. Keep going. Keep going. We're just going up over the hill and then we're going to come back. I just put my feet down in their soles. And it's kind of cold. I got snow there. This isn't snow, is it? Well, what is it? What do you call this? I call it snow. Big time snow. I call it. I'm going to say. Well, here we are in this great Hinkley buzzard day. What day is it? Hang on just a minute. I'll tell you. That's right, Sunday, March 21st, 1993. We're up here at Hinkley for the old buzzard day. Heading back to the van because everybody's feet are cold except mine. Mine are cold or wet. Oh, everybody's feet are cold and wet except mine. I'm too cool. Well, that's move. I move all over the place. Look at that scoop. <laughs> Show us what the date is real good. You slime. I had to tape Scoo on snow and ice one more time, fans. She is about as sure-footed as a uh, paraplegic. Look at her. Well, get your wheelchair, Scoo. Wheel you around. Now you know what a fish out of water feels like. A whale. I'm coming, I'm coming. Look at them, they got off the trail. They're trying to get on into that ice. What if that breaks, Renee? I don't think it will, but what if it does? You'll have some cold tootsies. Of course, the van's not that far away. Right? Mm -hmm. David's out there beating the crap out of that ice with his ninjuck. It won't break? Well, then it probably won't break on you either, Renee. And she says, yes, fans, it did not break. It broke. It broke nothing. David found a giant bird print made by the claw. Or did you do that, son? Did that. Man, that is hokey. You don't think there's some kind of monster out here that we don't know about, do you? No. What are you eating, little son? The juice is loose. The juice is loose. The juice is loose? Well, open the juice is loose up for me. I want a starburst. Or is that juice is loose? That's a starburst. Lay one of those suckers on me. As we're back from the end of the trail onto the path to take us back up to the van. Now here we are at Whip's Ledges in Hinkley, still on buzzard day. The kids wussed out, they're staying in the van, but the Pathfinders, we're going down and take a look at the cliffs. Yeah, those kids, they can't handle it. The kids can't handle it, but we can take our snow and cold. And there the kids stay in the van where it's nice and warm while we're out here roughing it. All right, the kids at play, they're making a snowman. I'm going to regret this, you know that, don't you? There, can you see that snowman? Well, it's got to be bigger than that. <laughs> there. We're... there. That's, that's a snowman? That's it. That looks like there. a big Peter. <laughs> yes! That's, 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 that's all that looks like. And not that big. I've seen bigger ones than that on goats. Beat you. That's true. But Chris didn't mind. Whoops. No. Who said that? Gary, check this out. This tree fell over into the other tree. Just recently, too. It wasn't like that the last time I was up here. 
danger on the trail. We came underneath that tree that died and bent over and fell into that other tree. But if that thing collapses, we could be in deep doo-doo. Now you want to be careful because we're getting close to the cliffs and you don't want to slide and go over the edge. Because some of these cliffs are over a hundred feet up in the air. Scoo says, I don't know if I like Carol's in front of me. Scoo says, I don't know if I like this or not. Hey, uh, you both have wills made out to me, don't you? No, the kids. You scum. You scum. You scum. Ah, uh, yes, up here at the top of the old ledges, this is dangerous in this winter snow. Scoo says, I can handle it, I'm tough. Of course, if she scoos the snow, it'll melt. We've got a lot of leaves here, fans, that kind of cuts down on the mud. Scoo and Carol are taking it very cautious, as well they should. Now here are Scoo and Carol standing right at the top of the old cliffs. And I'm telling you, we're right here along the edge of them. Oh my, yeah. I told you, Scoo, some of these babies are pretty high up. I'll bet you any bucks, any, any amount of money, that there have been people that have gone down there and jumped from one side to the other. I've done that. No, that's not where I've jumped. Not that side, the other side. Man, this is kind of neat to be out here with nobody around. That's what I want to say. That's, that's a pretty long leap, Sandy. Oh, Carol, when, for me in my younger days, oh, I could... I have, it, it, from the other angle, it, it looked, looked closer. Yeah, it looked closer. Yeah, yeah, but in my younger days, I could have cleared that three times over. I could long jump 19, 20 feet. Yeah, yeah but it's not as easy to hop as Sandy thought. Yeah, I thought it was uh, the closer. Oh, pretty good drop there. That's And yes, Dad has to try and get out to the edge. Well, we've seen and heard plenty of crows, but no buzzards today. This is quite a view, isn't it? I told you it would be worth the walk down here. Those trees grow up out of the cliffs and everything else. Especially since you've never been here before. No, I enjoyed that. Yeah. Well, I, I, now we'll hike back to the van. But it was worth it, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was really neat. So peaceful and quiet out here at Whip's Ledges. Mom making her way up the hill. Barrel butt following. And G, of course, hasn't even left the cliff area yet. Uh, ooh, sorry about that, fan. Excuse me. Fans, I think we really needed to see somebody change the color of the snow, and I'm just the boy that can do it. Ah, that feels so good. I had to come over here and do this away from Scoo and Carol because they would have thought that was a snow cone. I wouldn't have been able to keep away from it. Ooh, that felt so good. What do you think, fans? Should I get out on there and take a few shots? It's awful slippery. I could fall down hundreds of feet of cliff. I think I'll try it. Now here I am, fans, right at the very edge. And right there, straight down, hundreds of feet of nothing but solid rock. All the way down. Carol said she didn't want me anywhere near the edge. But I said, peewee water on that. Another shot right from the edge, fans. You gotta love these parks. Straight down. Back up to the old foot. Which is right there. Now we gotta pan around and see if there are any buzzards to be had. 
I hear plenty of birds, some crows, but doggone it fans, I don't see any buzzards out here today. Oh well, we'll catch it next time. Now there's the trail that I have to go back up. I'm out here in the woods all by myself now, fans. They wussed out on me, they couldn't take it. But time to get back to the van. One last shot of old Whip's ledges in the winter. Late winter, granted, early spring, plenty of snow. It's kind of nice out here, very peaceful and quiet. And it wasn't all that cold either. It temperatures up around 38, 40 degrees and no wind blowing, so I'm not even wearing gloves or a hat. Those steps are easy to walk up, Scoo. Look at those beautiful pine trees. Scoo says, oh no, do I gotta walk up in a... Carol, helping her up the trail. Here at Whip's Ledges. I'll be careful. Don't worry, I'll be careful. And here comes Boots Butt. She says, I've got to take a... Ooh, she says, I got to... Ooh, got a little mud, didn't you, Boots Butt? Wash it off in the snow. She said, huh? Pump. Epstein's at work. I don't know. Yeah, the pump works, but that water would be so cold. It's going to be colder than the snow. Well, actually, she, Renee's right. That water's not going to be as cold as the snow. You don't think so? I know it's not. It's only going to get so cold in the ground. Pump a little harder, Boots. It'll come out. you got to really put your butt into it. Boots pumping that sucker. Says prime that pump. There it's coming. I saw it squirt out. Oh, she said I need a drink. Wait till she finds out how it tastes. How's it taste? Fine. No, no uh, uh, mineral taste to it? Oh, sure. I, I knew it would. Anything. What'd you say, Can Renee? Clean? Yeah. Hey, Renee, what'd you say about that water? Ugh. Not too tasty, was it? Uh -uh. Okay, sports fans, let's move up the trail. We got some serious hiking to do here today on Buzzard oh, Day. Where well, it's just Dad and Boots Butt now. Hey, wait a minute. Mom might want to come. Hang on a minute. Hey, Boots, isn't this pretty through here? Uh-huh. It really is. There's the old picnic shelter, but nobody's having any picnics today. I don't understand that. Why aren't they having any picnics? Because it's cold. It's not cold out here, you fool. I like John. You like John, huh? Yeah. So I'd let you know again. Big John Wygan? John Wygan. He's the do of the month. The do of the month. He's the dog do of the month. He's awesome. He wets his pants. Sort of. There goes Renee running through the shelter to find Mom. I'm already up the steps. They're going to have to climb up them. I hear them, and I see some waves of stink. You guys gonna be able to make it up these steps, you think? Huh? Hey, fools. Huh. Listen to the echo. Who? Who? I like John. Woo! Man, what an echo. Oh, 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 oh. I I I I ho 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 not not. Come on up these steps, fools. Gary, Gary is, is a, a face. Hey, let's watch the foul lingo, scum lips. Now I'm standing at the top of the te or stop of the steps. Yeah, top of the steps waiting for them. 
And this is the trail that we're going to be traversing over to the, the ledges. We're at the top of the ledges, then we'll be at the bottom of the ledges. Listen to him pant and puff. Ah, 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 ah. What? You guys are tired, I oh, know. You haven't lifted. How many times have we seen these rock formations? I don't know how many. I don't know, but this is the one where Renee was climbing before and jumped down and hurt herself one time when we were out here before. She has to try. She says, no, I'm going to wuss out. Oh, no, she's not wussing out. That girl says, I still got a little bit of kid left in me. Loves the outdoors. Uh, that I wouldn't try that, Renee. That's kind of slippery right in through there. Mom, can't wait to get up to those bigger cliffs. She's doing it. Huh? You can see your breath a little bit. Just a little bit, but not too much. I'm saying it's not very cold out here. I don't even have gloves on and my hands are warm. I gotta say these gloves dirty. She's gonna kill me. She'll never know. Boots butt says I gotta try climbing those rocks. You gonna make it full? No. That's it. That's the extent. Renee, you're cruising for a hurt and don't go up any further. If you, if you can't find a foothold, then don't go up any further. In fact, come on down, let's do some hiking. <coughs> when you come up this hill, Renee, dig your heels in a little bit because You need some help? Hang on a minute, I'll help you. She says, I am so tough, fans. Just so awesomely tough. She says, I'm going to get back down okay on my own. She made it, fans. She is so cool, so hard. Give her a big hand. Hey, big round of applause. Renee, why is it that you must climb those? Renee, You're going to get hurt. Yeah, I t yeah, you you gotta stay off of them rocks, Renee. You're gonna get hurt Those big time. Those are your best time. jeans, aren't they, Renee? They need washed. They're your best ones, though, aren't they? Yeah. Good luck. That may not. Right. I do. Well, the pair's too small. Well, as soon as you get that babysitting job, you're in good shape. You guys buy my jeans, buddy. Okay. Fine, thank you. Boots butt has found a place. She says, "Yes, I'm Miss Mountain Climber." Look at that girl go up those cliffs. She's almost to the top, sports fans. I don't want her to slip up there. That scares me. Oh, no, my battery's going dead. Oh, better hurry. Doggone, my battery's going dead. Wow. Come on down, Renee. Wait a minute, this is gorgeous. Renee wanted me to get a shot of that icicle hanging off the cliff, and well, I, I think did there are it. others that she should wire, yeah. Well, Renee, since the battery pack is dead and I just forward. fell and got all muddy, we're going to leave and go home. And I missed it. Mom, that was so fantastic. There's even a path going up more. I well, go ahead. Place. Walk on down and I'll... This is it. The end of uh, Buzzard Day 1993. What time is it, Carol? I have no idea, dear. It's 1137, right around in there. Time to head home and get ready for the movie. All right. Now, believe it or not, fans, it's March 26, 1993, a Friday, and it was the weather was like this yesterday. Can you believe the change? You just aren't going to believe it. Look at that. We got crocuses in bloom, and we got Chris out there playing hoops in his shorts. How's the temperature, Chris? The temperature is fine, and look at that sky, fans. That's Ohio in the spring. You just never know what it's going to be like. Carol's at the doctor with Renee. Hopefully, when she gets back, we're going to be able to do a little Easter decorating. 
Chris popping the twine, hitting nothing. No. Let me see you make a shot. All right, now that's what I like to see. Nothing but net on the old hard court. No, he can't do it. You'll notice that that basket is as level as the day I put it in. That's because we don't go for dunks or hanging on the rim or the net. Of course, this is a neighborhood full of white kids. They can't even jump up and touch the net because everybody knows white men can't jump. I got it. Shoot, Chris, my grass coming out of uh, winter in the early spring looks better than most grass in Florida in the middle of their growing season. Ah, uh, yes, fans, look at that sky. Friday, March 26, 1993, about 3.15 in the afternoon. Yep, here's the old pad. In three more months, this place will be history and we'll be living in Florida. That pool, we'll get to use it until the middle of July and then it'll be ours no more. We can't kick though, we've had it for eight or nine years. They get a new one when you move to Florida? Yes, fans, not only are the flowers in bloom, but as you can see, the old bees are out doing their job. Yes, sports fans, that's right, March 27th, 1993. There's big Derek down here at Mohegan State Park with us. What's your last name, Derek? Allen. Derek Allen. Brother. And here we are having a cookout. Hey! A breakfast cookout. Yep, here we are at the old Gorge Overlook. You guys hungry? Yeah. I'm starved. Is it scary down there? It's dangerous down there, and you boys aren't going down there. I don't know. Sure. All right, I see the old fire is getting stoked up. Come on, you guys, do a job. I'm hungry. Ah! Dear, keep hitting that, but not, don't hurt him. I'll tell you what, fans, it's been touch and go out here to get this fire going today, but I think we're doing it. I think we're finally going to do some Dear, cooking out here. It's been tough, hasn't it, Boots Butt? Squeaks, what are you doing up in that tree, boy? Well, I was trying to break this log, but I decided to just relax. Boy thinks he's cool, but he ain't nothing. Right, Derek? Right. You got it. You guys hungry? Double fire. Kind of. Oh, yes. Listen to the pop and crackle of that boy. Yep, we're gonna. Mom's gonna be cooking right now. Come on, Carol, get out here and cook while we got fire. Let's get ourselves organized here. Don't do that. Don't smother. I just keep the Yeah, don't do that. We'll just keep blowing on it. That's wood that's burning now, not paper. We got ourselves a fire, Carol. Look at that sucker go. I, I told you it was the small wood that would do it. Gary, we got fire over here with the big wood. Well, we got. A, I think we got a hotter fire over here. Well. Carol, just cook Please. while we got a fire going. We're going to have fire for a plenty of time. Don't you worry about it. Oh, yes. Burn and here we skillets. are at the old Gorge Overlook. Got to have iron skillets for this kind yeah. of water. The gor How, are you having fun, Squeaks? You got it. We're going to have some smoke meat. You guys can't tell it. We're right here at the edge, of course. It's, there's a nice, safe... Uh, hey, Dad! Get out! Get out! Don't you even think about it. Hey, Mom! Don't play your games, either of yeah, you. I can't fall off going like this. Get, get your leg back, down. David. Get your leg back. Yeah, if you're... Two you know what I did? I went, I went, whoa! You were, we're at least 200 feet up. I wish you fans could tell, but you can't tell how Dad, much of a drop that is down I'm there. perfectly safe right here. Nothing can happen to me with Dang. just one leg over. Yep, here we are at the old Gorge Overlook picnic area. Mohegan State Park for an early morning breakfast.
You hungry, Derek? Yeah, very. I am too. No, 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 he can't, Renee, because he can't get in the van. He's not in the No, no, David. No, because... There's more paper, Renee. There, that's what we like to see. The old bacon's in the grill. We'll do the bacon, and then we'll do the... Uh, I don't care. I need to get it done. I don't know Potatoes, really if we never... It. It's too big to kill it. David, what's that sizzle I hear? Smoked bacon. Smoked bacon from a fire, a wood fire? Uh -oh. You know it. Oh man, they got a fire going over there too, and there go the potatoes on. Yep. Oh man, my mouth is watering. I'm so hungry. I think Derek's hungry too. I'm gonna go eat. You're not gonna have any of the stuff we're cooking? See, the water's just dripping down my face. Yep. I'll tell you, it was touch and go out here, fan, because the wood was wet, but we've got it going good now. Potatoes are going to be tough to turn in this little pan. Actually, you should have put the bacon in that pan. I need room for the bacon, too. You'll figure out a way. Oh, I'll make it. I don't know if, I don't know if this fire is hot enough over here. I think we ought to take it out and go with the small logs. So I can move. There, now we got, we got some cooking going on. It's looking good. It sure is looking good. What? Carol, are you going to concede to me that I knew what I was talking about with the small twigs in that? Never. Well, you should because you, there's there's my fire. I will concede only because you conceded I knew the way. There's there's your fire or there's my fire. And there's Mom and Renee's fire showing me be nothing. Heat from here to uh, toast the bread. It's be thanks to Dad, we'll be eating out let's today. Go, go. Cooked food. We're really blowing hard. Not yeah, look at old G's fire. Yes, sir. That boy knew his stuff. He knew what he was doing, and that fire is going to give us our breakfast this morning, hey. fans. Don't be don't be fooled, fans. That's Renee blowing on burning paper, not burning wood. <laughs> don't try and score. And then there's little Squeaks back there. He's eating his cereal and yogurt. What are you doing, Squeakers? Come on out here and chow down with the family. Oh, yes, look at that bacon start to brown up, fans. Oh, yeah, I can taste it already. How? Right here. Oh, go, you take that one now. Oh, man, looks like we got some kind of a technique going here that I'm not aware of. Squeaks, what are you chowing down on, bud? Yogurt and cereal? Rice Krispies and what kind of yogurt? There. Huh? What, ki what kind of yogurt, son? Blueberry. Blueberry. That's one of your favorites, isn't it? Yeah. Let me see you take another big bite, son. No, no, I mean if you're take serious. A bite Go ahead, take a big bite of that cereal. Just the way you love this. Mmm, good. He says, I love that stuff. Gee. And now here the little guy is right out the uh, end of the observation area at the Gorge Overlook. See how peaceful it is here? Oh, it's real peaceful. And across the way... No bugs! No bugs. This is solid scenery. We're way up over those trees, and those trees are at least 50 or 75 feet tall. Hey, Dad? There's the river down there, the Mohegan Dad. River. Yeah. I said no bugs. Oh, yeah, no bugs at all because it's only about 45 degrees, but it's great for what we're doing. And then, of course, we got those great pine trees. And we swing back around to the old picnic area. This is from the end of the observation area. Back to where the vittles are being cooked. I'll tell you, fans, I was worried for a while there. I didn't think we were going to get flame. But we did, and we will be eating soon. Of course, Squeaks is eating now. I can hear him go chomp, chomp, chomp in my ear. Yep, old Chef Simpson at the grill one more time saying, I love that flame. Oh, I got to get rid of the grease. 
Oh, is that what that's doing? Yeah, but that's okay. It's keeping up the fire. Too. You got that right. We'll put a few more lo uh, little uh, uh, pieces of wood on it. Give, give me some grease. Is it helping? Not really. Don't worry about it. Is that yeah, hot enough to toast my... the bread, Renee? She says, I don't know, Dad, but I'll try. The bread shouldn't be on till the... You'll see down there, fans, that trail is still closed because part of the, uh, it was right along the top of the cliff here, or the, uh, yeah, the uh, uh, ridge, and it caved in part of it, and the trail is right next to a huge cliff. They won't let us go down it anymore. There's a nice little drop-off area from the rope where uh, I'm right at the edge of the trail here, where they've got it all closed and everything. Trail closed, and it's been that way for the last three or four years. Somewhere they had a landslide, and the edge of the and the trail is right next to the edge of the cliff. I think somebody fell here and got hurt pretty bad. But we're not messing around in that area. We're staying where it's safe. All right, we got flame in the second one because they poured the bacon grease in there. No, the we, logs are burning. I know. We got plenty of wood. We got plenty of fire now. How's that one doing, Carol? It continues to cook for us. That fire's not going to die out, David. It's in great shape. Man, do I love to hear the sizzle. Hey, you guys want to take a walk across the top here while we're waiting for the food to cook? Well, there's Squeaks. He's back at the picnic table, and he's still chowing down. We got our picnic. We got a tablecloth, which is a potpourri, potpourri of uh, swimming towels is what it looks like to me. Yeah, Reese's towel and anchor towel and the... Man, I love it down here. It's nice. There's nobody here but us. It's really great. Jim and Julie Belts will be with us later on. Oh, man, look at that fire now. It is really cooking. Potatoes are browning. Yeah, is, the potatoes uh, are browning. Can you smell them? No, I can't smell them, but my nose is running, so I probably can't smell much of anything. Boots butts laying out some bacon over there right on the thing, and the she grease is a good idea. Grease is dripping and really making the fire burn. And they should cook pretty nice over there. And we got a great fire here. We should have brought marshmallows for dessert and toasted them. Didn't have any. Ah, that answers this question. David just got some smoke in the face. No. What? Yeah, look at that fire cook. We brought got those little log or pieces of wood on the ground and Oh, what a fire. And I'll tell you what, fans, this is living. Yeah, I know. Boots says she's going to toast some buns right now. Yeah. Does that feel good? Yeah. It's okay. nice and warm, isn't it? Yep. Boots toasting the buns. Renee had a great idea, Gary. Yes, yeah, she sure did. No, David, no. I want a piece of toast. That'll burn, David. You got to wait till that burns down a little bit. I'll put it over the back of light. Squeaks can't wait. He's having himself some toast. Don't let it burn, though, honey. Renee had a great idea to put that... Uh, bacon on there and cook it and let the grease drop down. It's doing wonders for the fire. Man, I'll tell you what, Renee, that was just a wonderful idea. Mom was pouring the bacon grease from our fire onto our wood, and Renee said, well, heck, if it works that well, I'll just cook some over here open and let it drip down and look at that wood. How's it taste, honey? Canadian bacon? No, West Virginia brand bacon. West Virginia? I don't eat anything West Virginia. <laughs> it's West Virginia brand bacon. Dairy. Do you know who the richest person in West Virginia is? Who? The Tooth Fairy. Is that, yeah, you got that right. <laughs> Man, you got that right. Is that the table? We got toast, fans. We got toast. Oh, man, that bacon's about good. done. How are the potatoes doing, Carol? Mom's having trouble turning potatoes in that little skillet, but she's getting it done. Those potatoes are getting done. Oh, man. Derek. I'm all getting done. How are you going to handle this, Derek? I don't know. I mean, are you... Are you, are you catch up? Derek, I mean, are you going to be able to eat when we get it ready? You 
did it? Yeah, yeah I, I will. I think you'll chow down big time. I know I will. Look at all the moss up on the roof of the shelter. We'll just change squeakers up. And... <laughs> David and Eric, look at them go. Here's Eric. Derek. What did I say, Eric? Uh -huh. I'm so used to uh -huh. Eric Blinn. No, you're pretty not the Derek, give me a give me a figure. Two? One. One. Hey, don't hey, don't kick each other, you're gonna get mud on your pants. Yeah, I did. David, what did I say? Now don't kick each other. David! I'm sick and tired of him calling me that. Don't call him that. You know what I'm saying. He was getting teased real bad about his voice the other day at school. David, you gonna flip that log over? Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait till I come and can get a good shot of it going over. Piece of wood? That piece of wood right there that's hanging on the tree? Yes, I see it. I threw it. You threw that there? Now wait a minute, don't throw yet till I get over here. Okay, Squeaks, throw that wood. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait till I get behind you. Okay, Squeaks, fire! Ah! Oh, down over the old cliff. Hey, I can throw this one longer than that since that one scratched my hand. You got another one to throw, son? Don't worry, fans. There's no people walking down there. That's a straight 200-foot drop. Yeah. Ho! And that's not even getting all the way down there, Carol. Yeah, fans, it's kind of dangerous walking down there. But we don't let the boys go down there. Derek, you go... Oh, wait, Derek's going to throw one. Hang on. Ready? Okay, big Derek fires it. Yeah! Yeah! Hold on. Big David fires it. Yeah, look at those kids throw that. Okay, guys, it's about time to eat. One more, one more. Come on, Derek, hurry up, one more. Fire it. Yeah, all right. Now let's go eat, huh? You cooking eggs now, Carol? Yeah. All right. Now when the eggs start cooking, that means we're looking good. There's the bacon, fans. It's just sitting here waiting to be eaten, and I'm going to have to have one. Look at them eggs. Oh, my, one. yes. Have a piece of real bacon. Log off the heat. I got eggs, eggs ready. ready. That may not look good to you, fans, but it looks delicious to me. I've got eggs. Done. Start bringing plates for hey, me. Hey, dip schnitt. S-H-N-I-T. I definitely can't Derek, like get your plate. The food's ready. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna get my plate. I'll guarantee you, I am starved. Eggs are gonna be ruined. JB, he made it. Big Rye. How you doing, Putt? Good. Do you have any trouble finding it? Oh, we came right to it. Good. They were arguing. Yeah. Who was right? Jim. Big Jim. Hey, and Big Maggie, down on the trail, did you guys eat? Yeah. Okay. We went to McDonald's. You went to McDonald's. You, you guys are real outdoorsmen, right? Outdoorsman JB, I hear you stopped at the arches and had your vittles. <laughs> right? Maggie, hey. Well, fans, there's a nauseating sight. The fire's burning out. The pan is empty. There's only one reconciliation or one reconciliatory factor, and that is that my belly is full. Jim says, I got to see a little bit of the gorge overlook. I can tell Maggie loves it. She's in seventh heaven. Maggie, do you like being out of doors, girl? She just likes to That means, I sure do, G. Big Mama got her belly full. <laughs> That's eaten. Who goes there? Yes. The turkey vultures coming to prey on the turkeys, and I see two of them right in front of me. Okay, lead on down the trail, but wait till I catch up to you. See here, we're up on the high trail path. If we were right down through there, we'd be walking right along the edge of the cliffs, and that would be pure danger. Okay, you guys, go ahead, walk on down there. Well, there goes David, there goes Derek. Where's Mag the Hag? Where's... Now, don't go too far ahead, you guys. 
Man, we got the whole crowd out here today. Yo. Business professionals of America. Hey, Mike, how'd you like it down there in Columbus last weekend? I had a great time. Are we running out of trail? Is there another organized trail? Like oh, yeah. Rocky? Oh, heck yes. Okay. That's where we're going. Okay, you guys, it's time to go back now. Hold on. Is there more trail? Yeah, we're going to go hike the uh, real organized trails. How's that sound, JB? Sounds good. Maggie, how you liking it here, girl? Huh? You can't stand to be inside when, you, when the weather's nice. Oh, man, neither can I. It's a waste of, uh, it's waste a wa of my waste. personal time and my precious time. And That's right. I, I understand exactly what you're saying. Uh, Back up that way, guys. No, no, that's down by the gorge, David. That's a danger trail. It's been I closed. Can't see my tire. No, David. Now go on up where there, like my I said. Towel? I just said I wanted to get over where I could see my tire. Oh, I thought you wanted to go down to the gorge. I'm sorry. You have my apologies. I hollered at you when I shouldn't have. Good sucker. Good sucker. Where'd you get it? In my pocket. Now there we are, making our way back up to the top of the gorge. That's so that we can go get on some real hiking trails. You need gloves, Derek? Yeah. And a hat. Is that right? Well, you got a hat on. Yeah, okay. You need gloves, right? All right. Well, Carol will supervise you guys getting in and out of the van. She's got it all figured out. Okay. Putt, you going to get muddy today? Are we, are we yep. Here today? Are we going elsewhere? We're going elsewhere. First, we're going to go to the fire tower. Oh, we're driving? Oh, yeah. Well, then we better take Maggie's water, huh? Yeah, this is just a place to um, to eat. There's not a lot of hiking trails around here that are safe. What is this here? I see a pillow and blankets for Mag the Hag. I can't believe it. Oh, man, you talk about spoiled. She loves her blankie. JB, you do that for Maggie? Yeah. Oh, man. She needs a, her own, that's her security blanket. Oh man, does she suck her paw when she lays on it? Her binky? <laughs> Gary said, said that I should say anything, so we'll use a famous line. What's the use? Anything you want to say, I just, did you turn it off already? No, it's, it's on. Anything, but... I just wanted to say, I wanted the people to know that I was here. I wanted them to, to see me to know that I'm still uh, just as good looking as ever. And now we're going to go to the fire tower. All right, let's go. Okay. You guys take it easy up there. No funny shenanigans. Mike says she doesn't want any part of the old fire tower. I'm afraid that after what I ate, the, the structure may not be sound. Here comes JB up the old fire tower. Looks like Ryan Belts has said, uh-uh. I don't want any part of it. You know any more, Ryan? Hey, And there goes David up the steps. What of, the heck's going on up there? Up the steps of the old fire tower. Derek's, Derek's trying. Derek's trying. Yeah, don't be jumping around, Derek. I, that's all I need for you to fall through the steps here. I was here. just on the last two steps. Okay. Man, it's locked. It's locked up there. Yeah, I know. It always is. Wait, no railing. Now walk slower. Out of my way. Derek, you guys walk no. slow going down. No. What do you think? We're about. Maybe 65, 70 feet up. One, two. You want to see an awesome sight. Here we are at Mohegan Four, State Park. Five. From the top. About 70, 80 feet up. From the top of the old fire tower. I feel somebody coming up. I can feel that vibration. Derek, he hasn't gone down yet. You've, I feel more comfortable with you there, Derek, than leaning out over the side. Yeah, don't be I, about, out. I about peed my pants when I saw yeah, you doing well, that. Boy, I tell you, these people are really like... Yeah. Man, look at the trees that are all down and everything that they lose every year. Renee. Well, there goes a car. Where's Renee? I want to see her. She's right with me. And there they are. Now, here comes Renee and JB down the steps from the top of the fire tower where we were just at. And there's the top. Maggie says she wants to come up and she'll only come up with Mike. Man, what an awesome view you get off of the old fire tower.
It's you, about 25 feet. You ever been up here, Jim? No. Yep, everywhere you look, fans, is just awesome scenery. Kind of hazy out here today, but it's a great spring day. JB breathing a sigh of relief. He's getting closer to the ground. Derek was on his way back up. Now he's going back down. What's the story? Go ahead, throw that boy. Hey, there goes the old hat all the way to the ground. And there the 